Hi team, I'm coming at you with your deadlifting or your hinging uh, technique video as promised. I'm going to talk about the deadlift, um, basic deadlift, without using equipment. The only piece of equipment I've got is a band. So we're not using uh, um, barbells or dumbbells or anything, no added weights or anything like that. So it's technically, I guess, not resistance training, but it's still learning the patterning and the breathing and the techniques that you can use in um, everyday life because we we deadlift or hinge so often in everyday life um, prior to kids I never used to lift weights um, I had a fear that I would one hurt myself two look stupid and three get really bulky and huge like Arnold Schwarzenegger was they are that's not possible we can't look like Arnold Schwarzenegger because we are women we our, our hormones will not allow us to get that bulky and we would have to train insane to 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 look bulky and you know what a woman looking bulky who cares like it's not um it's not something that we need to fear so strength training with weights has changed my whole perception of um i guess exercise because it has made me feel stronger and had the everyday tasks that i do prior to children my lower back used to kill me and I had a weakened core, I, my legs were weak, like everything was just weaker and I would be in pain with my lower back, especially doing, um, making the beds. I remember I used to loathe making beds, I don't love making beds now, it's not like my favourite chore in, in the world, but it's not hard, it's not an effort now, it doesn't hurt now. And I honestly put it down to um, lifting weights and, and learning breathing patterns and techniques. So. That being said, I'm going to teach you a little bit about the deadlift. I'm not a professional lifter, by the way, so someone watching this might think that's not how you do it. But this is how I'm teaching you for your to for you to be confident to then perhaps progress and add weights and add load if in particular if you have pelvic floor health issues. Okay, that's the thing, is that many um Many lifters don't teach you how to be protecting your pelvic floor. I'm going to teach you a couple of strategies. Hopefully they can be carried on through your everyday life as well. Making life easier or simpler, hopefully. Um, so deadlift. Deadlift, deadlift. I've got a broom because I'm going to show you where to contact or where, how, how your body could be positioned. What a deadlift does is it hinge, you hinge at the hips, oh, my brain. you hinge at the hips, and you send the bottom back, and it's not a squat, so squat, coming down, oh, knees flipping, coming down, knees are bending, hinge, I bend slightly, but I more put my chest forward, and then I squeeze my, my glutes, my butt, to get back up, and I'm also, like with the squat, I'm driving up through my heels, so I see my bottom back, and then I squeeze my butt to get back up and I drive up through those heels. So you, you have, your toes are hardly touching, really. Well, they are, but not, not the driving force to get back up. A couple of key things, people feel it in their lower back. So like, ah, that kills my lower back, I'm not doing them anymore. Let's just adjust. So here's our pelvis. We often are in a low doses, so we've often have got quite great curvature of the spine. Let's just adjust, watch this. Pubic bone pointing forward, pop. Little gentle pop, change that, change that angle of my lower back, then I come down. And I squeeze into my glutes. So if you're feeling it in your lower back, adjust. Fit to say. But um, feet position can be however really you like. If you have uh, pelvic floor health issues, you might want to take it a little bit narrower, or you might not. You might feel um, more comfortable in a wider position, go for it. This move, compared to the squat, places a lot less pressure and strain on your pelvic floor. Coming into a squat position, low here, pushing up through the heels, okay, bearing down, but whereas a hinge, it completely shifts my pelvic, uh, my, my pelvis and into this position here, so I'm taking the pressure and the load off that floor. So it's not as um, 
pressure. There's not, much, not as much pressure on the squat. You can still use that breathing technique that I taught you in the squat video. Quickly go over it. Exhale, the three E's. Exhale on the effort of the exercise. So in the deadlift, the effort, effort is coming back up. It's coming back up. Breathing out, breathing in. Breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now we can use that pelvic floor technique as well. We don't have to, if you're feeling strong, floors, no symptoms. You don't have to be doing this. As long as we're not, key thing, as long as we're not, uh, we're not squeezing, squeezing everything here. We're squeezing everything here. Not here, here. This is relaxed-ish. <laughs> Breathing in. Relax the floors, breathing out, squeeze and lift them. Watch my hand as the jellyfish. Relax the floors, breathing in. Squeeze and lift, exhale. Breathing in, relax the floors. Squeeze and lift the floors gently, not fully gentle, exhale. Okay. <laughs> so if you have a broom or a, something and you're starting out, you can put it down your back. And you want, for the contact, this may help if you're finding that your neck is getting sore or your lower back is getting sore. You can place the broom on your, just above where your butt cheeks meet, your lower back. You can also place it on your upper back between your shoulder blades and on the back of your head. Now I'm going to hinge at the hips with, which way is better, that way with the three point contacts. Lower back or lower lower back just um, above my butt. Between my shoulder blades, head, let's go. So hinge. You want to maintain those three points of contact. If you feel one of them popping off, adjust. If you feel them completely coming off, it might be that we're going too far down with our hinge. So it might be we're here. Cool, drive up through the heels, contract, Contract, squeeze the butt, and come up. Or we might be able to go a little bit lower, and come up. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. That's just a, if you're not too sure if things are kind of feeling in terms of position, try that out, just an idea. So again, fit, doesn't matter. Yeah, we could go wide, we could go narrow, shoulder width is great for me. Uh, another, another strategy is imagining that we've got a piece of paper. Where is my piece of paper gone? We've got a piece of paper on the ground and we want to rip that piece of paper apart. I want to rip my child's painting a picture, I swear. Hope not. Where there'll be Hulk. So put, you can imagine we can actually put a piece of paper there. When I come down, I want to imagine that I've got someone's hands here or something here and I'm pushing, pushing against them, but without going relaxing and doing it, I'm pushing and creating tension all through my glutes, my hammies, my quads, creating that tension and pushing up and then coming up to stand. Oh, I'm actually sore from just doing that. So, and I don't have any barbells or anything like that. So I'm sitting the bottom back, pushing, and imagine I'm pushing, gonna rip this piece of paper if I can do it, amazing. And then I come back up and relax. Breathing in, pushing, something on here, push, 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 squeeze the glutes, squeeze the butt. Coming back up, side view. <gasps> Should be devastated if I did actually rip that. Side view. Send the bottom back, breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze, squeeze the glutes. Oh, I'm literally, I'm tired. So that's another little strategy you can use is imagining pushing pushing either your 
your knees into someone's hands, creating that tension without moving fully out, or a piece of paper in between, or a line in between, and you're trying to rip that piece of paper apart with your feet, with your leg power. Because they are strong. If you have a band, stand on said band, however width apart you want, create a bit of tension in the in the, um, the leftover bits. <laughs> okay, send the bottom back, breathing in, breathing out. I'm exaggerating my breath for my core engagement. You don't have to do that. Breathing in, breathing out. Squeeze the butt to get yourself back up. Turn sideways. Breathing in, breathing out. Notice my head is not this, okay? My back, oh, adjust. Protect that back. You feel that you're like, it's really arched and it's sore. Adjust, tilt, yeah? Take that pressure off that back. Okay, so you can do that with weights, yeah? Weights, dumbbells, here we go. Roll your legs, hands down your legs, drive up. That is, that is the deadlift. There's really, there's a lot to it actually. Um, but for pelvic floor health, exhaling on the effort of the exercise, imagining you're ripping apart a piece of paper, legs are strong, core is relaxed. Breathing in, breathing out. It's not, I'm not, ugh, I'm not squeezing to get back up. You feel it in your lower back, pubic bone, forward, three point contact. Okay, hopefully that helps with a little bit of deadlifting. Play around with it, film yourself, get in front of a mirror, play around with it, especially with that lower back. If it's getting a little bit sore, message me and um, maybe send me a video so I can have a little bit of a look. Okay, see you.